Good morning. My name is Pastor Philip Dacre. I'm here in England, United Kingdom. I'm here to tell you today about the most powerful spirit that ever existed in the universe. The Holy Spirit of God is powerful. It touches even the soul and the spirit. It touches the hearts of men. It can do miracles without uh, any limitation. The person of the Holy Spirit is given to us to emulate Jesus and to do his works that he did on this earth. Jesus was the cornerstone. He was the blueprint for all ministry. Holy Spirit will always make you more like Jesus. And the hallmark of Jesus' ministry was the dynamic power of God. The anointing of God that was so powerful that it stretched across the whole world. And it sends ripples even today throughout the whole world. Jesus Christ healed all the sick that asked him. Power went out of him. People touched his coat and got healed anointing how God anointed this Jesus and how God anoints us today to heal to do miracles to speak signs and wonders into being to move mountains and to do powerful things we are not Christians without a cause we are Christians empowered like Christ himself with the power of mighty God the Holy Spirit, the power of the universe. This Holy Spirit created the world, raised Jesus from the dead, lives in me. He can live in you. When Jesus breathed on the disciples, they received his changing nature. They became like him. Whilst they walked with him, they desired to be more like him. After his death and resurrection, Jesus gave them a new nature. They became born of God. But he told them, wait, don't go out preaching. Don't try anything in the flesh. Wait until you receive the power of God. Until you are baptized, completely immersed, completely drenched in the power of God. This great power is given to us so that we may emulate Jesus, not only speak in his name, but do his works that he did. He said we would do works that he did, the same works and even greater, because he goes to the Father. This has been given to us by Jesus himself. He said, if I ascend into heaven, I will send him. He will empower you. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak as he hears from me and from the Father. Holy Spirit baptizes us in power. And Jesus said, wait till you receive the power of God. Oh, beloved, let me tell you, the power of God comes upon you. The changing nature of Jesus comes within you. The power, the anointing, come upon you. It's a second touch from God, not the first. The first is you get born again. The second is you get empowered. Now, Jesus had a hallmark in his preaching. They said of him, never a man taught like this man, or spoke like this man. He doesn't speak like the scribes, like the teachers of the word of God. He doesn't speak like the prophets of old. He speaks with authority. He even tells demons to keep quiet and to come out, and they do. No man ever did that in the Bible. 
It's a hallmark whereby we absolutely conflict with the devil himself and demon power and cast it out. Cast it out. Cast it out. God's way is not man's way. God's way is powerful. 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 One day God told me to break a witch doctor's power. He had the greatest power in that country. Even Americans came all the way to Africa to see this man and to be touched by him. But when we broke his power, beloved, in the name of Jesus Christ, he hung himself. And all his power had gone, he told his wives. I have lost my power this day. At the same time, actually, as we cast it out. And he hung himself and died that day. Beloved, let me tell you, I met a pastor and he was very happy to become the secretary to the prime minister of an African country. I said to him, why did you accept a demotion? And he was very angry with me. You see, he wanted to change the world, to change that nation by becoming a politician's aide and influencing him for good. That's not God's way. God doesn't need people to beg. We are not there to try and influence people. We come in the name and with the ambassadorial authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. Some time later that Prime Minister was thrown into prison. And so was I at the same time. He asked me, he, the Prime Minister, please pray for us. And he sat at my feet for six months every night asking me the word of the Lord. What does God say to us, Ufundisi? Pastor, what is God saying? You see, he sat at my feet and that's where they should sit. Ministers, Prime Ministers and everybody. You see, not me sitting at his feet trying to beg him to hear Jesus. It's the other way around, beloved. I never tried to influence prime ministers. I just walked with God and he used me with prime ministers of nations. You can be used by God too. This great power changes countries, nations, whole communities. We're not dealing with some little minor demonic or angelic power. We're dealing with the most supernatural super spirit of the universe. We're dealing with the most powerful being that ever existed. The one that created planet Earth. Where the waters he hovered upon. The waters. And then God said, let there be light. And the spirit of God made light come. You see, when we speak... Holy Spirit empowers us. Holy Spirit anoints us. Holy Spirit does what we say because we are of Him. We're His children. His fingers, His ambassadors. We move in Him, not in any other spirit. We're God's own sons and daughters. We are the children of the living God. When I spoke in prison, earthquakes came. When I spoke to diseases, they were healed. When I commanded demons to come out, they came out. We in ourselves are nothing, but we as temples of the Holy Spirit are the most powerful beings in the universe. We can even hire and fire presidents and prime ministers as we desire in him. Amen. This is the work of the Lord and this is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Amen. God bless you.